My name is Nisin R. Lopez. I'm a 43-year-old Cuban-American artist based in Miami, Florida. I am contacting you in order to denounce a hideous crime that is being perpetrated uh, against me here in the United States of America. Contract stalking and electronic weapon attacks sponsored by corrupt elements in the U.S. government. Yes, I am a targeted citizen. I've been experiencing organized uh, community harassment sponsored by the authorities since January of 2011. This thing ruined my life. You might be saying to yourself, what exactly is organized uh, community harassment, right? Well, you know, this is not easy to explain. One could say that contract stalking is bullying on steroids. Organized stalking, covert harassment, or community-based mobbing is pretty much a form of political repression, extrajudicial punishment. Organized stalking is a secret program of the U.S. government designed to destroy targeted individuals emotionally and psychologically through dark neurolinguistic programming and negative aversive uh, stimuli. We're talking here about a multi-layered interagency program. Law enforcement is behind this. The intelligence community is behind this, and third-party contractors are behind this. You know, private security companies mostly employ ex-military and ex-intelligence agents. As far as, as uh, the organized uh, community harassment done to me every single time I go out into the general public, the unjust systematic harassment is done by a group of people in an organized fashion using unethical means to torment, preoccupy, agitate, intimidate, and terrorize the isolated target uh, 24-7 no matter where he goes. You know, pretty much uh, community-based mobbing based on choice reference patterns. The targeted citizen is exposed to a stressor outside the range of usual human experience. He is terrorized 365 days a year, 24-7. He is kept in a state of anxiety and hypervigilance until he finally breaks down after years of indescribable psychological abuse. Most victims of this program end up homeless, in jail, or in psychiatric institutions. You know, this credit will not support the system, broken in spirit. So now, who are the agent provocateurs recruited by the authorities that constantly harass the targeted individual in an organized fashion? Well, they are called surveillance role players. They believe they are patriots and heroes serving at all costs. They come from all types of social backgrounds. These mindless automatons are brainwashed into believing that the target is a really bad person, a terrorist, a murderer, or a sex offender, like a rapist or a child molester. We're talking here about a professional character assassination campaign, a clandestine civil military operation. The command station for organized stalking is the fusion centers. Overall, contract stalking is a secret, illegal, long-term, unconstitutional surveillance program designed to neutralize politically incorrect free thinkers that are designated as enemies of the state, even if they are just innocent, harmless, law-abiding citizens that pose no real threat to anyone. Now, keep in mind, the targeted individual is also subjected to directed energy weapons and other forms of psychological torture. I'm talking about remote neuroinfluencing technology. The human test subject is implanted with highly advanced neuro nanotechnology that enables brain to computer interface. This secret technology of DARPA flavor enables the handlers to link the target's unique brain signature to their supercomputer. These are some of the things that they can do with this technology. This technology enables the handlers to read the target's uh, thoughts verbatim in real time. They can tap into the optical nerve and into the auditory system. They can see what you see and they can hear what you hear. This technology allows the handlers to map out all the target's emotional states, especially 
negative emotions like sadness, anxiety, fear, anger, etc. They can beam these emotions back into the target anytime. They can even Google your memories, you know. This technology can be used to implant words, phrases, images, and motion pictures into the target's psyche or natural stuff. The idea behind this is to make the target believe that those are his real thoughts when they are not. This technology can be used to control dream cycles and sleep patterns. They can, de they can deprive the target of sleep. <laughs> this technology can be used to control the muscle movement of the target, causing spasms. They can also inflict pain in any part of the body. This technology can be used to sexually manipulate the target. It can make the, tar the target feel sexual arousal or it can turn off the target's sex sexuality altogether. It can also be used to manipulate the hormones of the target, thus lowering and raising estrogen and testosterone levels in women and men respectively. This technology can also be used to eliminate the target with an artificial heart attack that generates no forensic evidence. <laughs> Pretty amazing stuff, right? All the experiences of the human test subject are stored in a supercomputer that predicts behavior based on past choices. I think the ultimate end of this program is to create a digital clone of the target's brain, you know? They basically got control over your thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations, etc. Full spectrum dominance. So now, the leader of clandestine operations in the CIA, Elizabeth Kimber, she doesn't know anything about this behavioral modification program. The, princ the principal deputy director of national intelligence, Susan M. Gordon, she doesn't know this kind of thing is taking place. The assistant attorney general of the National Security Division, John Charles Demers, of the Department of Justice. He doesn't know this is going on. The director of the FBI's terrorist screening center, Charles H. Cable. He doesn't know this is going on. The undersecretary of Homeland Security for Intelligence and Analysis, David J. Glow. He doesn't know this is going on. <laughs> of course they don't know this is going on. Come on. So, you know, the puppet masters behind this personality disintegration program, you know, they will do anything in order to justify a multi-billion dollar national security counterterrorism, corporate military intelligence, police state complex. Well, you know, multi-billion or multi-trillion, you know, who knows? <laughs> You know, one thing I heard is that, you know, they spend approximately a million dollars a year on each targeted individual, you know, this big business. You know, think, for example, about how much money has been invested in projects like the brain research through advancing innovative neurotechnologies. This is based in the United States. So, you know, this transhumanism agenda is very big business, you know. <laughs> I would like to respectfully clarify, I'm not trying to insult anyone with this letter. I'm not trying to be confrontational in a subliminal way, you know, and no, I'm not trying to demonize the U.S. government. I am very grateful that I've been given the great opportunity to come to America. I'm very proud of the American flag. You can see it in the back. You know, I just want these corrupt evil people in positions of authority you know, to stop killing me in slow motion, you know, that's what they're doing, they're, they're killing me in slow motion, you know, that's, that's what's happening. I am not a criminal, you know, I'm not a terrorist, I'm not a serial killer, and I'm not a sex offender. I'm just an artist into old school heavy metal rock. You know, this thing has been going on in my life since January of 2011. January of 2011, you know, we are in 2019, it's been a long time. 
you know, years of my life lost. Years. <laughs> We're not talking about days here or months, you know, or one year. Years. Conclusion. On one hand, we got heavy, overwhelming, multi-layered, organized community harassment designed to drive a person crazy, you know. Then, they got a military technology based on DNA resonance that can be used to push a person over the edge. You know, pretty much a perfected breakdown tactic on the human will, you know. This is the perfect weapon. <laughs> this is a humanity 2.0 experiment, you know, no question about it. 